Hello and welcome to a video underneath my desk. And just a short little video about my under desk lights. Check this out. You've got two LED strips and that allows me to see inside my drawers at night or in low light situations, which makes it really, really awesome. And if you've been following my channel, you'll see that I've repurposed my 10 AA rechargeable batteries into a 12 volt system. So they're all in series. And then we've just got the usual 12 volt wiring. Um, try to tie it up as much as I can. Just have some Wago connectors here, two two ones. And it is coming into a rocker switch. And this is my 3D printed creation. Because when you have a rocker switch, it's just round, right? And you're probably going to have to drill it into something. But I didn't want to have to drill into my desk. So I printed this with my Easy 3 printer, which you'll see right over there. It's a very, very small printer uh it's a uh, 10 by 10 centimeters i'm not sure how high it goes probably 10 centimeters as well so pretty small for a printer it's a toy printer and that printed out this quite well how awesome is that i've put this on well i've uploaded the model to printables so if you want to do this for yourself it is very possible to do and uses not much filament and uh, the inner field density i think is set to like 10 or 15 percent really i wasn't concerned about that being it too solid and it prints really slow on my easy 3 k10 printer and this is it's an american style switch because on is up for australians on for us is down but at least it's labeled so that's fine and these are just um 12 volt uh, switches you can get from Amazon, AliExpress, Timu, and it does work with AC as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description of the video. And so all this is doing is cutting off access to the positive line. That's how we get the on and off switch mechanism. So if I can go all the way under here, turn on some lights. You can see, I'll try my best to go in there. There's two lines in there for the positive cable. So, these LED strips came in a packet of six from Amazon. They turned out to be $2.30 each. So, do the math. The math's on that one for the packet of six. So basically two of these, five dollars, a little bit of PLA filament, rocker switch, then got it in a pack of 20, ends up costing about a dollar. So when this is depleted, I just take them all out and charge them. Not too much of a drama there, it's just um, under desk lights. And there we have it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.